Oh, Rush Limbaugh. So I got two things that I'm going to cover with Rush Limbaugh. One of them is uh, I agree with him that the Republicans should uh, see if they can find a way to bring Schiff front and center, uh, especially with the lies that he's told from the very beginning of, of the impeachment trial. Uh, I believe that does have a lot of weight on the whole process. And, unfortunately, love him, hate him, agree with him, disagree with him. He's become a part of the American lexicon, and uh, he has announced that he has advanced lung cancer. Uh, So, first, the advanced lung cancer. uh, Talk radio king Rush Limbaugh stunned his 27 million member audience Monday with the announcement that he has been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. At 69 years old, the conservative talk pioneer closed his broadcast with the grim news saying he'll be leaving his golden EIB microphone for treatment, but hopes to return soon. And whether you agree with him or you disagree with him, this isn't something that anybody should ever want or wish upon anybody else. Um, God, he has been around for a long time. I I remember listening to him way back in the day. My dad would listen to him uh, driving in on the radio uh, on his way to work and and, uh, on days when I was going in with my dad. You never want to see something like this happen, and, uh, oh, my gosh, wow. This day has been one of the most difficult days in recent memory for me, because I've known that this moment was coming, Limbaugh said. I'm sure you all know by now that I really don't like talking about myself, and I don't like making things about me. One thing that I know that has happened over the 31-plus years of this program is that there has been an incredible bond that has developed between all of you and me. Uh, Yeah, 31 years, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Could you imagine, uh, we'll relate it to YouTube, watching the same YouTuber for 31 years and then finding out that they have uh, advanced lung cancer. Wow. Wow, wow. Lombard then told his audience that his job has provided him with the greatest satisfaction and happiness of his life. So I have to tell you something today that I don't wish I didn't have to tell you. It's a struggle for me because I had to inform my staff earlier today, he said. I can't help but feel that I am letting everybody down. The upshot is that I have been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Limbaugh told his listeners that the cancer will keep him off the air on certain days when he uh, has days of treatment. January 12th is when he started experiencing shortness of breath. Uh, and he knew something was wrong. He had two different medical institutions confirm the diagnosis. Uh, yes, he has advanced lung cancer. Now, uh, on to his statement about Adam Schiff. Yes, uh, I don't know. I don't like Schiff. He seems so, yeah, I hate to say it, but yeah, shifty, shifty Schiff. I, I just, he seems so shifty. He does. Conservative radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh called on Republicans to put impeachment manager Representative Adam Schiff front and center in the President Trump's Senate impeachment trial. And I believe I believe he's right. Uh, Rush Limbaugh goes on to say that he doesn't believe that Schiff can stand up to it, that he would crumble. Uh, and I think he's right. I really think the Republicans ought to bring Schiff in here and put him front and center. And I think they ought to call him. Limbaugh said on his nationally syndicated radio show. I think they ought to make everything the Democrats are doing related to Adam Schiff. Uh, Not everything. Pelosi has a lot to do with it. Uh, It's all kind of a shared thing. It's not all on Adam Schiff, but Adam Schiff kind of really did get the ball rolling with the mood of the House with that big old lie that he read that was a blatant lie, and then he comes back with the it's a parody. Yes, it's a parody defense. That's that's the defense you need today whenever you lie and it's caught and it's busted. Oh, I wasn't lying. It was a parody. It was a parody. That's the parody defense. This guy needs to uh this guy needs to upheld front and center as the energy, the face behind this entire thing because he'll fold, Limbaugh added. Folks, he hasn't said much that is the truth since this began. And honestly, he really, really hasn't. I mean, he really hasn't. I mean, how many times did he say, 13 times, we are going to hear Trump say quid pro quo or the words bribery or this or that or this, that. We heard none of it. And right after he'd said it, a couple days later, he'd come out and he'd say, well, it was a parody. It was a parody. And everybody just, yeah, okay, all right. It was a parody. Okay. On with the trial. We started it off with one of the head people in the trial, lying into congressional record. What? At that point right there, the trial should have stopped. They should have said, hold on, Schiff. Back up. 
What do you mean this is what you are saying to the American people that you say that we are going to hear? That this is what the transcripts are going to say. And when Trump releases the transcripts, it doesn't say that. What is going on here? But it wasn't really questioned. It was kind of like swept under the rug. The, the news cycle is so insane nowadays. People just on to the next, on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. But he lied. And it set the mood for the whole thing. He doesn't have a case telling the truth, so he's manufacturing things, which is exactly what he did, Limbaugh said, of Schiff, who uh, the host slammed for allegedly mischaracterizing a text message exchange involving former Rudy Giuliani associate Lev Parnas. Uh, yep. Well, Rush, I agree with you there. Uh, I like to try to keep my videos short for you guys. I know your guys' time is uber, uber important. Important. Uh, but yeah, it's sad to hear that he has advanced lung cancer, uh, but it's good to know that he still has a sharp mind saying, hey, wait a second, Schiff needs to, to testify. And I'm one of those people that believes that, yes, I, I don't believe we got the truth and I think we should have witnesses. But, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm moderate. I'm center. I try to look at things from multiple perspectives. So, But I do believe that Schiff should be called front and center, but it won't happen. That's Let's face the facts. It just won't happen. Anyways, that's what I got for uh, Rush Limbaugh. Well, we wish him nothing but the best and uh, speedy recovery, I hope. And I will see you guys on the next one.